for the project of today we only need two little nebulizer. Usually I use fields of water and using a little pump we can compress the air inside and create pressure. This pressure will help us to nebulize the water just pushing a little bottle. In this very hot summer it's a very great thing to have a nice sensation. But in this case we will use it without water, it will be only a little air from the reservoir. So let's start to hack the nebulizer. We can remove the plastic tube from the top and put it away. We need now two little caps. So these nail polish caps works great because have the same dimension of the nebulizer as you can see. So we can glue them together. It's very important to choose a non-toxic glue because I don't want to intoxicate myself. So put all the glue all around and let the glue dry. Once the glue dries we can make a little hole on the top of the nail polish cap right here as you can see. Later you will, you will understand why. Let's take now a water bottle cap and also here we need to make holes. One on the left and one on the right. These are 6 mm wide holes. Inside these holes we can insert this vinyl tube, 60 cm of vinyl tube and push it inside. Let's take now a mouthpiece snorkel and with a saw we can cut away the mouthpiece. We will use this part. As you can imagine the pink water bottle cap have the same dimension of the mouthpiece. So using also some non-toxic glue we can glue everything together like this. We can cut in half now the vinyl tube at 30 centimeters almost and insert this tube inside the nail polish caps this time using no glue it will be a precise hole as you can see it stays perfectly in place and it doesn't move and doesn't leak air so recapping we have the mouthpiece and the parts where we can screw in place the air tanks all these parts are a bit uncomfortable to handle them so I will use a base to mount everything in this case a uh, football shim guard so I can secure the air tanks, one on the right and one on the left, using some nylon strips and fi fix them very strong in place. This is the result. I made some laboratory tests before going in water and the test says me that I can make a full breathe underwater for sure.